Chapter Seventeen of Bizarre by Lawton McCall. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nick Bulka. Coaching from the sidelines. Thanks to the roadside advertisements, driving a car has become as easy as playing a pianola. You just watch the instructions that appear along the edge and regulate your levers and pedals accordingly. Thus, when you see dangerous curve sound rasp on you reach instinctively for the button of your electric horn later seeing sharp descent apply eureka non-slippable brake you comply gracefully a mere twist of the wrist or dislocation of the ankle does the trick he that reads may run any man who has ever watched an organist pull out stops and push them in again can become a motor virtuoso. Any woman accustomed to following instructions in cutting out a dress pattern can grasp the idea as easily as, when told to, she grasps the lever which operates Bingo's North Polean Radiator Cooler. It is so simple that it is imbecile. Every peculiarity of the root is heralded. All its little irregularities, its deviations from straightness, its bad declines and sudden uppishnesses. Even the small faults which an easygoing person would overlook are held up sternly in warning. Gusty corner. Raise breeze o extension windshield. Sandy stretch. Spray gears with anti-grit. Puddles. Apply splash hall emergency mud guard. Railroad crossing. Put ear to locomotive detectaphone. Dangerous boulder. Before ramming this, make sure Achilles collision buffer is properly adjusted. Village speed trap. Apply backfire with ready constable exterminator. Occasionally, as a relief from the faults of the road, its favorable points are dwelt on. Thus, mountain view. Enjoy it through autoflex non-refractory goggles. In general, however, the emphasis is upon the perils of the way, as only one mile to hotel Socum. here no specific instructions are given it being understood that the accessory involved is one's pocketbook and that the directions are open all the way the system has one drawback the signs never fail yet there is such a thing as trusting them too implicitly i knew a man who as a result of trying to obey seven signs telling him to be sure to dine at, at many different inns, stripped the lining of his esophagus. And I knew of another man, a timid, earnest, nervous old gentleman, who depended on signs so completely that one day, at a dangerous part of the road, being suddenly confronted with the command, Use Plexo! He fell into a panic. Plexo, plexo, he muttered in bewilderment. Where, where is the plexo lever? I can't find the plexo button. There's something terrible will happen unless I find it. It did. As with trembling fingers he fumbled through the entire outfit of attachments, he forgot to steer, and unluckily ran off the edge of a precipice, so that he did not live to learn that plexo was a massage cream. End of chapter 17